Hi everybody, welcome back to some Legend of Grimrock 2. And uh, I don't have a key for this, so just letting you all know that. But we did open up this thing. I should mention though that um, if you're watching this episode by episode, this is a puzzle game, so if you're watching me do the puzzles, um, if you're interested in actually playing the game for yourself, you might consider buying the, picking up the game and uh, getting it. Otherwise, I'll just, you know, I'm, obviously I'm going to continue, but... Uh, this is a blind run, so, you know, it, there's potential for me to really not uh, understand the puzzles. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll do some fast-forwarding on another good, goodness uh, when I get the opportunity. And now i got some Bora. Is everyone good for food? Oh, uh, well, Can needs a bit of food. Uh, let's, get, let's go give Can some food. He can have a turtle steak. Awesome. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, we got a sack, and it's got a note. It says, uh, I see you have made some minor progress. Good, good. But don't let it get to your head. This is, uh, just the, be <laughs> just the beginning. Or it could be almost the end. Depends entirely upon you. Uh, here's a tool you might find useful. Surely you can figure it out. And it's a, it's a mortar and pestle. Which, uh, is something that Kand will use. And he's got alchemy one. So it gives you, it, it gives us our first recipe here for alchemy. Which is a healing potion, one blo blo uh, blood drop cap, and, uh... One ethered for an energy potion. Uh, I should mention, well, first of all, let me just get rid of these wooden boxes. I, well, actually, let me just make sure I don't have anything inside of either one. And yeah, that one doesn't have anything, and that one doesn't have anything. All right, um, I should mention what, uh, okay, so the potions, so you can see I have like two healing potions right now. Uh, I'll give, well, this is still good, I think. Okay, well, the way it works is, and when you drink potions in this game, it's not like in regular games where you, for whatever reason, eat the glass. You keep the flask so you can brew another potion and then drink it later. However, I do need to have, uh, like, basically the flask, so... Even though I, I have the ability right now to make, uh, the energy potion, I don't have a flask for that, so... A frostbite necklace. So, resist cold plus 50%. Uh, well, you can give this one to him. Oh, hello, tree thing. Uh... Let me switch to Ken's uh, other weapon here. God damn it. Jack the Minotaur sucks. That thing does That thing is very evasive. Okay, we got it. We got all the... the I'm, I'm throwing, like, stones again because I don't have enough, uh... Capacity for, uh, uh, well, Can doesn't have enough bullets. He's only got four left. I hope that alchemy allows me to make, uh, rounds for the gun, but I'm gonna have to say that might not be the case. I see a whole bunch more trees there, so. I mean, we could rest right now, but that's probably not in my best interest. Oh, there's another stick. This is a light weapon again. I probably don't need any more branches, to be honest. And we got another, we got a blood drop cap. Actually, these can stack. I'm not sure why I haven't been doing that. And we might as well just keep the motor and pestle like right there. It's a nice recipe though, I'll tell you that much. So the uh, other weed is this one, so I can just remove it from the stack. Uh, can needs to use the motor in hand, really? Okay, apparently he's got to do this. Oh, you can actually see the recipe. Um, or, apparently that's not the case. Apparently I don't need to pick up flasks. Okay, I was under the impression of the old game. Uh, that's different. Okay, so I do this. So I can also, I can also try different combinations of things. Uh, Kanda's not skilled enough in, in alchemy to brew this potion. Probably that was something I wasn't supposed to use quite yet. Let's just make a couple more potions, to be honest. Okay, alchemy is gonna come really in handy. Apparently, I the glass just comes out of nowhere. Um, I actually didn't anticipate that. My bad. I will have to apologize to you all later, or right now. Oh. Okay, so it's the trees that become. Uh... So I notice that only some things dodge. All right. Also, Jack Witchell isn't doing very good in terms of health. The Witchell Nader uh, needs 
some leeway. It's kind of it's kind of fun actually. I'm kind of just exploring a forest. This is really quite neat. Holy shit! I have a lot. Okay, I guess we do eat the glass in this game. That's I was about to say how. Well, it is it was unique. Uh, oh, I kind of got hit. Oops. All right. Well, these guys aren't that tough, but fortunately, I don't think Jack has particularly good uh, dodging. Apparently, before it was just Pat dying all the time. What's the dodging of this guy? Uh, of of Jack Witchell, that is. Oh, he's got evasion zero. Okay, so he gets hit every single time. So that's not good. Um, probably am going to have to do something about that soon. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. So, I should mention though, uh, well he's doing armor, so it's, it's fine by me. But, Pat, actually I haven't given him any, anything for dodge. And I should probably do that, because he's supposed to be evasive. Although it doesn't look like I have to right away, judging by the description of the skill. Um, and also we should look at the baked maggot. Uh, wow. Okay, so, you know, I've, I've been, so far been, like, I have four inventories to sort through. Oh, cool, look at this thing. Earth magic 2. It's poison bolt. Uh, we're not really gonna go into, uh, earth magic at all. What are power gems? Who knows? We have a lot of bags, though. I, I can give Pat some of this bag. So, so you can see his capa carry capacity here. Uh, when he be becomes, like, overburdened, he'll, uh, he'll start to whine a little bit. But we can, we can put a bunch of the food in here. Yeah, okay, it's it, this is just our turtle steak uh, bag right there. All right, let's give uh, I don't know, let's give Jack an egg. Delicious. Hopefully, that's not going to be used in any kind of put, uh, like recipe or anything like that. So that's his carry capacity. Um, it's only, his limit is fifty one kilograms, as you can see, but it's actually not like a hard limit. Uh, it doesn't stop there. These, 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 these tree guys hit a, like a truck. Oh, yeah, I, I thought I heard something. I'm trying to, I'm trying to kind of get the angle in on him. Otherwise, Jack's gonna die. Actually, my, my entire front party is just not having a good day today. Surprisingly, my, like, the mage, which is me, is actually doing work on these guys. I did not actually expect that would be the case. Uh, let's go and go into... I think I was gonna max out concentration, but I may have to mm, go for the next skill. Uh, let's do concentration. But that's all I'm doing for concentration. Not doing much defensive stuff for that guy. I kind of want to rest somewhere. Debating if I should just kind of leave. Yeah, let's go over here. And now we're going to sleep and let their health go back up. Look at that. My mana comes back so fast. It's awesome. That was one of my biggest complaints about the first game is the, the, the mana would not come back very fast. But now it comes back extremely fast, so I can actually rest. Which is at the, which is at the price of hunger, basically. Because um, you get hungry while you sleep, I guess. But that's not a huge issue. Uh, this is kind of an issue. I was kind of letting him walk into this. This is kind of butt mad. Ah, uh, we got him. I I'm so glad that we- oh, look! There's a- I think that's ammunition, actually. Yep, yeah, we got some pellets. Now, we're trying to be conservative. We're gonna use it for, on basically the bosses. I, I kind of got mixed up now of where I am. Okay, we're, we're, we're sorry. I, I turned around the wrong way. Um, okay. Well, I see a little cave here. Let's go into the cave entrance, shall we? Uh, where are we right now? Well, we can kind of look around a little bit. We have a little puzzle here, and there's a chest there. So, one of the things we can do is we can take our little note here, like a in the lone oak, whatever. Throw it. Oh, it it brings up that thing. And, and that's one of the mechanics, we can just throw throw things around. 
You know, I kind of wondering, um... Huh. There used to be a spell which I could cast to create, uh... Okay. Apparently, I, that, that, I get that by default. But I, I know <laughs> I, I know this from the other game, which is, uh... uh it, that's a lightness spell, so I don't actually have to... I don't actually have to any more uh, carry around torches. I can just use the, the magic. I didn't actually think I, I thought I had to learn it. I'm almost inclined to shoot this guy. Okay, we got him. Probably didn't need to do that. Fortunately, his uh, magic is wearing me down. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a tattered cloak, and this can go directly onto Jack. Jack's taking a lot of hits. Not gonna lie. Uh, but that, he'll be okay. He's a big boy. He can take the punishment. I'm sure. Uh, I'm just having a look around for secrets. I, I have to start the walls occasionally. Otherwise, people will see it and then I will not see it. And I will I will get upset. All right. Well. Hmm. Okay, we got a scroll here, which is a. Uh... Okay, I don't know why I was hearing something. This is ice shards. It's a water spell. I'll give that to myself here. Uh, we also have our first throwable item. It's a frost bomb. And we have another key. Why can I hear something over there? Yeah, there's something... Oh, here we go. That would be probably why. Uh, hi. So, the grid-based combat allows for some abuse in regards to how... You see how I'm turning around like this? That's one of the better things about it. And I just noticed that this guy dropped an axe. He needs heavy weapons three, though. Uh, I've been kind of working on armor for this for uh, Jack here. We will we will keep it on him, though, just because I'm thinking maybe later. Oh, look. And I think we got magic. We got a whitewood wand. Requires concentration one. I guess concentration is what allows me to do the, the light spells, actually. Because it used to be something called spellcraft, but now they call it concentration. So, there we go. In before concentration camp jokes. And, yeah, it just gives me more energy. That's Generally, that's kind of what the wands do. Some of them give you more attack power. I'm going to see what this guy potentially dropped. Oh, okay, we got a hat here. Uh, and we also have a shield. Evasion plus 5, health minus 15. That's insane. Okay. So basically, I could give it to someone, like Pat. You will lose 15 health, but gain some evasion. Is that a good thing? And apparently the rapier is a strength weapon. While well, daggers are dex based. Which one is better for my character? Probably the the, the dagger, actually. Interestingly enough, that's actually, yeah. I didn't actually think that would be the case. Uh, I'm going to give him the shield just because, uh, you know, let's just try it out. Let's see. If I get if I get hit a lot and for, like, nasty hits, then, you know, I guess I'll be upset. Uh, but other than that, yeah. We've already gotten that. I'm just checking out the map, making sure I got everything. I'm, I'm hoping I got everything also in that other place, but whatever. All right, let's give uh, some more ingredients. I I wasn't giving myself. I gave myself an ingredient. That's for Ken to do. Uh, okay, so we have a. Uh, I guess this is what this is for. All right. Well, did we explore everything here? It would appear that we did. So that's it. And what do we see? We see a big, uh, big ass cathedral. Well, before we, uh, well... Uh, 
<laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, wait, let's have a look around for a shower. I mean, there's these vines. Uh, there's a lot to explore here. I want to get. I want to get the things like this. Ah, oh, see, we've got a chest locked, huh? So as we've learned from before. You know, magic magic casters are really, really good early on, I have to say. Like, the mages I felt in- <coughs> sorry, I felt in the first- I actually, uh, as of this recording, I've actually completed the first game. Um, um, geometric shapes and all. And I have to say, one of my biggest complaints was the mages didn't feel as good. They, they scaled pretty poorly. Uh, it, it may be actually the same problem here. Um, like, I wouldn't have more than one mage. Ooh. There's something over there. If things might be different now, though. Like, I mean, Jack is still wielding his, his bone club or whatever. Yeah, it seems like every time I do that, they, uh, they break out. I'm starting to notice a pattern. It just- oh wait, no, 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 no. I understand now, and also he's got food. Sorry, I- uh, he's not just- he's just- he's not just scaling really well. It's because he is- oh, by the way, he was really hungry. That's why I had to give him food. Um, <laughs> I just realized they're fucking trees I'm killing, and trees naturally would be weak to fire. Uh, okay, that makes- that makes a lot of sense. I totally d was not catching on to that before. Uh, well, obviously, because I've, I've I've just literally started this game. We're like we're like what part three right now? All right. Well, let's see. What should Jack what will do? Let's get him to use some more heavy weapons. Because at the third level, he'll be able to use that axe that I gave him. Uh, okay. So we don't know how to get that right now. I mean, is there some kind of button on the rocks or something? Okay. Let's just assume that's not the case. Okay, we have we oh we have the lockpicks. You know what the lockpicks do? And that opens that up. It probably sets off some sort of trap. Let's just actually look at the walls here. Uh, you know, I haven't seen anything that resembles like a, a secret buttons on the outside, so I really should not ex expect that right now. Okay, I got another power gem. I have absolutely no idea what these do. Okay, let's just quick save it right now. Oh, Kanda okay, actually leveled up too. Uh, I think we're still good for firearms, so... F uh, the range of firearm attacks increases for one one square per per skill point. Oh, okay. Let's do more alchemy. Uh, it's, that's useful on him. What's the range on the, the pistol normally? Three. So he can only attack three squares. Okay, I, I didn't actually know that before. Although I don't think I really screwed that up at any point, to be honest. Okay. Trees didn't spawn, spawn from this one. Ah, uh, there's a tree over there. He has to turn- no, he's just gonna ignore me. I'm kind of insulted. You know what happened to the last tree-related thing that, that ignored me? Uh, that. I have to say, though, fire magic is really, really nice early on. Alright, we have, um... I am... I don't think I'm prepared to go this way yet. There, there's still so much we missed uh, back here... ...that I feel the need for speed. Uh, to go over here, actually. Uh, we've already been over there. Uh, let's have a look over here. Okay, we have another fountain there. Did I already get over? Okay, so there—that's—that's that's the place we kind of haven't been to. Uh, well, 
we do have the lockpicks now, and we do have that that one building there to kind of explore. So, what secrets will this just have? A uh, boots? These are like leprechaun boots and a giant stick. A lightning rod. What? Really? Well, let's go give. It requires concentration. This seems actually, I think, more of a. Can't reach. Okay. This is a battle mage item, uh, which is something that's brand new to this game. Protection and vitality plus one. Let's give this one to, to Pat. Uh, th and then they, these boots can go to me. Uh, so the, I, I'm, I'm actually thinking this is uh, absolutely useless. Although I can bring myself to the front lines in order to use it, like I'll show you. So like for just a split second, well, I'm not gonna show you right now, but uh, I can show you there, use it and go back. Fortunately, it's gonna require me to, to go back all the same. Uh, it also has limited charges and requires energy. Wait, hold down attack button to use. What the frick? One second. What, what does that even do? Shock, special attack. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll give that a shot. Or uh, Let's try it right now. Oh, neat! And I think I just used up a charge for that. Probably did. Okay. But I, I now have a lightning ability when I have no lightning. Alright, we have, um... Hear ye, hear ye, O Traveler of the Dark. Beware of the elemental shrines. Once houses of light, now refurbished by masters of the island. The, the shrines hold the keys to thy survival. Visit all of them and do what the stone philosophers demand, and thee may be granted a way out, if that's what thee most desires. Okay. Okay, just give it a save. Apparently, saving takes a while. Bring forth poor, four power gems to fuse them into the essence of the element. Not all the gems lay under the skies. Some of them are buried deep underground. Okay. Is the elemental shrine of fire. Fire is the rune of strength, magma, and heat. Northwest whence the force of fire is strongest. Okay. Northwest is up here. So let's go that way. So I have two power gems. I'm supposed to bring four of them back for some odd reason. Uh, let's go and cast the light spell. All right, let's go to where. I don't like the the little. All right, bring it on, kids. Oh, you jammed the gun. Seriously, you are the worst. Do you know how to use guns? Thank you. Alright, Pat's hungry, so let me go feed him real quick. <laughs> Now's not the time, Pat. Your needs come second to our survival. He's unfortunately, his evasion is not really working out well. Uh, and I, I have no more capacity for a... Wow. Okay. I like how they moved in a little pattern there. Yeah, Pat's like not doing too well. I like how they're moving a little formation though. I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to use another gun bullet, but if you have, screw it, let's just do that. Oh cool, we get some meat. Uh, warg meat. Okay. Oh, dude, we get some more warg meat. I think gives us so much nutrition. Just like the turtle steaks. I really should stop waiting for people to just be hungry, but whatever. Uh, here, let's do this. And now it's a safe place, place to rest. And get all my energy back. Oh, that was a good rest. Alright, let's go and... I feel I should put dodge into this, but... At the third level, you can dual wield light weapons so long as that one of them is a dagger. Yep. That's all I want. Which means now we're not giving the shield anymore. We'll give the shield to... I... I don't know if he really should have it, because it removes some of his health, but... I, I mean, I guess I have no reason not to try it. 
And now, oh, there we go. Now he uses two weapons. Okay. So he actually now uh, is a dual wielding SOB. Uh, all right, let's just check out what's over here then. Are you okay? Either that's a riddle or something. Someone really screwed up on the sign. Oh, I, I love that dual wielding already. I like how Jack's still using a bone. Uh oh, I think he, he's got some sort of like, uh... Whatever, go away. Okay, what, what the hell's wrong with Jack? Leg injury, no energy regeneration, shucks. Not like he really cares. So what, 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 what's the deal with the leg, uh... What's his leg issues? Just walk it off. Oh wait, that's not a good idea. Okay, so he's got- he sustained an injury. Pat sustained an injury too. Okay. Uh, I- this is a new mechanic and I have no idea how to- how to deal with it. I'm just assuming at some point. I mean, they're, they're biting us in the shin, so. They don't even use energy, so it's okay. We can just kind of ignore it. Unfortunately, I think that- I think the leg injury is actually slowing them down. Uh, that, well, that, that, that's actually probably the understatement of the century, but... You can notice how we're walking a bit slower right now. Oh, uh, hey, this is another way out. What's on the other side? Okay, I'm guessing it's some kind of, uh, complex or whatever. Now, do- I, may, I can perhaps just kind of wait? Uh, to wait for the... Their health to come back, or let's give that a shot. Actually, I I'm wondering how to fix that. Uh, he he's slow. That's why. Okay, that's not actually removing their uh, injuries. Oh, reduced. No, he's got a feed injury as well. Let me give him food. That doesn't help. Hmm. I kind of feel inclined to look up what I'm actually supposed to do. I, well, I'm also feeling inclined to combine all these wonderful items of food I have. Yeah, you know, I'll look it up for next time. Uh, what, how do we deal with uh, injuries? Oh, it's such a nice day. Uh, but for now, I'm going to cut it off here. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Bye.